all right so boom welcome back to my video guys i'm not even going to give you guys a long introduction i'm going to be using the old tour 5x5 lace closure wig it is body curl 24 inches in the shade 1b and this hair is so amazing guys i spent 75 dollars for it i've seen it for way less in other stores but this is my experience with this wig and i just want to give you guys the full review on how amazing this hair is this hair is a hundred percent human hair blend it's a five by five lace area you could part your way left or right or through the center um the parts obviously won't be that deep but you can do a free part then it's hand tied hd lace naturally pre-plucked hairline with baby hair and it has an elastic band for a nice flat fit when i tell you guys this hair was so 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 nice and especially for the price that i got it at i was like you know what you i got my own vendor yeah but on the go or you needed something real quick and you don't got time to wait on your vendor baby this hair is definitely it so i'm gonna grab my wig head and i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna put it on there and i'm going to lay everything down for you guys i actually am not going to um keep the baby hairs on the wig just because i wanted something more natural so i'm gonna take my wax stick and a hot comb and i am going to first flatten out that hairline so you could really see what this pre-plugged hairline looks like which was another perk because i was trying to go out that night so i was like dang i don't want to do too much work so that's why i love this wig because it already basically comes ready to wear um, i'm also putting on some skin protectant because i'm going to be using bold hold lace glue and right now i'm gelling down my girl about to jump you braids because i didn't feel like actually braiding my whole hair down so in a second you might see my dragon tail in the back but that's okay because the wig was still giving so like i said the hair itself is really really nice i like the texture of it i liked how full it is and i honestly like that it comes like pre-styled because that was another thing i didn't really feel like having to deal with last night or that night was dealing with having to style it so like i said this is me going in with a hot comb to really smooth out that hairline so you can see exactly what their pre-plugged hairline looks like i'm actually putting the baby hairs back in that wig too because like i said i'm not going to be using the baby hairs for the wig so this is the hairline that it comes with it looks really really nice but because i like my hairline to look a certain way i'm actually going to pluck it some more and then you will see me put the wig on and pluck the hairline again because to me it'll look different when it's on the wig head versus when it's on your head and you might have to go in some more and pluck some more areas that you feel like need to be plucked so honestly too after testing out the lace itself i was really shocked at how nice the lace looked and felt you know how sometimes the laces are thick or they're too dark or too light i feel like that hd lace was really perfect for my skin tone i feel like when i put it on i didn't even have to tint the lace but obviously because i don't want it to look white or whatever oh that's me after i plucked it i didn't feel like you had to um tint the lace but of course because i want mine to be a seamless blend i still tinted it but i didn't do it beforehand because i wanted to see what it would look like before i tinted the lace on my skin and you see it really was not bad at all i was like okay hd lace come on beauty supply store y'all really know what y'all doing here so after i adjusted it on my head like i said i'm going to go back in with my tweezers because now that it's on my head mind you i did not glue it down yet i'm going to go back in with my tweezers and you're going to see me pluck some more areas that i just feel like you know i want a more natural hairline not too thick or anything of that nature so i'm just going to go and i'm going to pluck some more I'm not going in in specific patterns because I feel like you get a more realistic hairline when you kind of just like bounce all over the place and not staying in one spot for too long. So that's what I'm doing here. Now I'm gonna flip that lace up and I'm gonna go in with two layers of Bold Hold Lace Glue. Like I said, I had already put my skin protectant on, so don't come for me. I haven't had a problem with Bold Hold Lace Glue, especially since I use the skin protectant. So if you're telling me, oh, it's not good for your skin, baby, like I said, use the skin protectant and you won't have a problem. I've been wearing wigs for a long time, okay? So use the skin protectant, it definitely helps. But I'm going to smooth on two layers, only in the area of the 5x5, five five, obviously. And I'm going to let it drown. Drown. <laughs> what the freak? I'm going to let it dry down. Oh, there's my honey in the background. I'm going to let it dry down until it gets clear. And then I'm going to put the second layer on there. 
and wait till that dries down for it to get clear. So if you are wanting your glue to dry down fast enough too, I do highly recommend using some cool air on your blow dryer. I would stay away from hot air because hot air obviously tends to make you sweat and you don't want to sweat off the glue or have the lace move. So your best bet is to use some cool air and that's my recommendation for it. Like I said, I like it because I haven't had an issue with it when I use cool air. I don't want to sweat and then my glue just doesn't stick. So after I get that glue down nice and clear, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to place that hairline right where that glue stops because y'all can see that linen strip that I got on my face. I'm still keeping, don't come for me. But I'm going to put that in there once I get this glue dry down. And then I'm going to try to describe this the best way that I can for you guys. I'm going to take my comb and with the teeth of the comb, I'm going to press in that lace, not smooth it back like I'm combing the hairline back. I'm going to take the lace and literally like kind of stab the comb and the lace into my skin so it can really melt into my skin. As you can see what I'm doing now. Um, it looks like I'm kind of jabbing the comb, but I'm like jabbing and combing back at the same time too because I really want that glue to get into that lace and stick. Mind you, I put this wig on, I believe Friday. Yeah, I think it was Friday and it's Monday and it's still on nice and tight and good. So now I'm going to leave my wig band on. I'm going to stop. Well, not stop, but I'm going to stop here with this part. And you're going to see me come back with makeup on because I wanted the lace to sit long enough while I was doing my makeup. No, my makeup's not finished, but I was bouncing back and forth to get stuff done because I was trying to get out the door. So now I'm going to cut the excess lace off. I had already cut off a portion of it because while I was doing my makeup, um, it was in the way of me trying to put the makeup on on my forehead. So I just had to go ahead and cut some of it off. But this is me cutting off the remainder of the lace with a razor. I like these because you can get that jagged cut still. Some people prefer to use scissors. Obviously, do whatever you feel is comfortable. But I personally am going to use a razor. I think I only use the scissors just to get like a small section off. But other than that, I'm going to use a razor. So now I'm blending out the bronzer on my forehead. I'm going to go ahead and put that on the lace just because I want it to match my skin tone anyway. So when I'm not wearing makeup, it'll still match. Because if you don't know, I would recommend going slightly darker and not doing a... Uh, a tint that matches your actual foundation because that would be way too light when you do your makeup. So I recommend doing a darker shade because the sun hits your forehead different than it hits like the front part of your face. So your face might be a little lighter than your forehead. So I would recommend going in with something that's maybe like one to two shades darker, even mixing the two. So that way your lace literally matches like the top part of your head. So if you're wearing makeup or not, it'll still match. I don't know if I just rambled on it said a lot, but I hope you guys understood that part. So now starting from the ends of my hair, I'm actually gonna take my denim brush or paddle brush and I'm gonna start from the end just because I wanna avoid knots. So don't start from the top because if you start from the top, you're gonna run into knots and you're gonna pull the hair and it's just not going to fall right or you're gonna mess up your curls. So start from the end and I'm gonna show you guys what the hair actually looks like once it's combed out because like I said, the hair already comes styled. So this is the side where the hair is already combed out and I love, love, love these big curls. I know most of the time I normally just go for like extremely like wet and wavy or kinky curly or either straight hair. I've never really just done big curls and I love them. My husband loves them. My mom loves them. Everybody that sees this wig is like, oh my gosh, this hair is so pretty. And the wig does not look wiggy. So you don't have to worry about that. But the hair is so soft, so pretty. Like I love the way it just comes out and the curls just fall. And because I want the top part of my wig flat, because you know, we don't do lumpy and bumpy, I am going to take my wax stick again and I'm going to go back through the hair and I'm going to put it on the top part and over by the front part of the lace as well with a hot comb. And oh, this is me taking the scissors because I saw some extra lace right there that didn't need to be there. So I'm taking it off and you can see I'm going in like a jagged motion. So after I put that wax on, now I'm gonna take my hot comb. I did test it out. I put the wax, not the wax, I put the hot comb on about 15 because I didn't want it to be extremely hot. 
um, and I'm just gonna run it through my hair I'm not gonna go all the way down because I don't want to lose the curls in the front part of the hair I'm just gonna make sure that the lace is flat the top part of the hair is flat because I still wanted some nice curls some nice body at the top part of my hair for the specific look that I was going for because like I said this was a date night and oh I just saw something at the top of my hair and I had to cut it off but I was going out that night so I wanted to make sure that the curls were still giving date night sexy sultry very very womanly I really 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 love this hair like I would definitely give this hair a 10 out of 10 I would definitely go back to the beauty supply store and buy multiples of this hair in different colors different styles like this is definitely it if you just need something real quick so now what i'm gonna do too is because i'm just playing with the hair and i'm trying to see how i want it to fall in the front of my face so i didn't want that kind of like peak in the front so i will go back in with a um hot comb again eventually and put that down in there but oh so this was another part too that i was realizing because some of the glue it didn't stick right there so i'm just gonna go back in with some got to be and i'm gonna spray down my hairline and I'm not going to directly put it on there, but I am going to like use my finger just for a more direct guide. But oh, so going back because I feel like I'm jumping all over the place. I'm doing that peak. Like I said, I wanted to have like that nice curtain in the front, that nice, you know, peak in the front. So this is what I'm doing now is creating that with my hot comb and going up in like a, a angled motion to get that peak, as you guys can see. Like she is absolutely gorgeous. This hair is amazing, amazing. So I'm going in with my tweezers and I'm plucking the middle part because I don't like my part to look dark or seem like it's full of hair. Especially if I'm doing a middle part, I need it to be giving middle parts. So I'm just gonna go in and pluck the excess like knots off of that. So yeah, now this is the part that I was talking about. I'm gonna take some of that spray and I'm not gonna just like spray it all over the place. I'm gonna spray in sections and I'm gonna melt the lace and then I'm going to just press it in on the areas that I did see didn't actually tack down to my skin. And I'm gonna go in with that cool air yet again so I can get it to lay down because I was rushing. I didn't feel like putting my wig band back on. So I'm gonna melt the lace and I'm going to put the lace back down and let it get tacky with this God's Be Glue spray. And I'm going to use my finger to really press it on the areas that it needs to be pressed in on. Remember, cool air. Use cool air. You don't want the guy to be glue spray or your glue to be gummy because of hot air. Use cool air. Now I'm going to go in with my foundation, if I'm not mistaken. It's either my foundation or my concealer. I think it might have been my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the shade Tan Deep Sand. Yeah. And I'm going to clean up my middle part, make it more visible. Um, if you like your part to look like this, that's fine. I still think it's pretty as well. But I like for my middle part to be known that, hey, it's a middle part right here. So I'm going to go in with my Tarte Shape Tape and I'm just going to define my part. Afterwards, I'm actually gonna take like some old mascara. They even have like uh, these things that look like mascara, but it's for your hair for when you do things like this. But either or works fine. And I'm just gonna clean up my part. You can even use black spray if you want, but I'm just gonna clean it up to make it more defined, just in case some of that concealer actually got on the hair. So this is me blending it in now. And then, like I said, you're gonna see me take my mascara to clean up that part to make it nice and crispy. But that is pretty much it for this video, guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed. If you would like to see more videos like this, if you do surprise their brand hair, let me know down in the comments down below. Thank you guys for watching. I cannot wait to see you guys in the next video. I love you guys so much. Bye.